Hello again and welcome. Today's video was originally going to be uh, my method of doing a three-piece goblet inspired by Helen Bailey and I'll put relevant links in the description below to Helen's social media. The beauty of doing a three-piece goblet is that you can use scraps of wood basically and contrasting wood as well for the stem, the bowl and the foot. Um, that was my sort of first experiment just with a bit of hardwood and I think that's cherry um, for my first one and then I did one with some spalted beech and a used stem. Um, there are various methods of doing it um, and I'll go through that in the video next week and thanks to Helen for the inspiration. When I got home from work this week, one night, a friend of mine had dropped this piece of spalted beech off and he said, could you turn a bowl for me so I can give it to a friend of mine for a present, birthday present. So I've had a look at it and it is very heavily cracked and it's still between 10 and 12, 13% moisture, so it's not dry yet. Very heavy cracking. You can see some really big splits here. Um, so what I'm intending to do is to have this as the underside of the bowl and the top part is a little less cracked at this stage so that should be the inside. And what I'm going to do for the filling of the cracks is use milliput. Now I've used milliput as a decorative item before. It's got extremely strong bonding powers. Normally you would put an undercut on a groove that you do to give it extra keying, uh, to let it key to the wood, but obviously I can't do that on this. But it'd be interesting to see how it performs, and I have a sneaky suspicion it should perform okay. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I've taken the Paul Hadley center finder here and I found the best part, giving me the biggest diameter which is around 16 inches. Put my compass in the middle and drawn a circle. I'll take the edges off on the bandsaw and I'm either going to mount it, I'm not sure yet, on faceplate, worm screw or hot glue. I'm not sure, hot glue block. I'll see when I've taken the edges off. And that'll be it. So without further ado, let's get over to the bandsaw, I'll take the edges off this blank and get turning this spalted beach bowl. So that completes the basic shape of the bowl and hopefully it will reveal to me the cracking etc how it's going to appear. There's a large crack here which I expected to be still evident which I will fill initially with thin CA and then 
have a surface, if you like, of milliput, um, and because I'm only be, I'll only be doing uh, finishing cuts now. There are on the end grain still some very fine cracking, which I expected again. Those I will most probably just fill with CA glue, um, maybe with a bit of sawdust, because they're quite shallow and not really wide enough for the mini put. There might be one or two that I can apply the mini put to. The whole idea of the mini put is to give a, uh, a feature to the cracking and obviously to stabilise it when I turn it round. This inclusion is really nice. I'm pleased. You know me and inclusions. I love them. Uh, and that's quite a nice one, so that'll be a feature. Um, even if, I don't think it's going to go through because it's going to be a fairly um, thick bowl. But if it does, all better. I don't mind that at all. Be showing on the inside as well. So I'll get on. I'll get cracking with that, and um, then we'll allow it all to cure, and then finish the outside. So now, now the thin CA has, has uh, cured, I'm just, go, I'm just going along the crack with a chisel just to break those few fibres, the tear fibres if you like, to give the mini put as much grab as I can. Because don't forget we're not doing any undercutting or anything in this. And I haven't done this before so it's a learning process and we'll see if it works. So I've mixed up the terracotta um, and I'll put a link to Jim Overton's channel so that you can see how to how to properly prepare milliput to get the best from it. Okay, I'll come back when this is cured and I start to do the finishing cuts. Right, it's the following day now and unfortunately not good news. Um, the good news I think on the this major crack here is that the muddy put has done its job very well. However, because I couldn't turn the inside, it obviously has dried unevenly and some severe cracking has appeared on the end grain where the cracks were originally. Um, we have them here. I'll just zoom in a bit so you can see what I'm talking. So you've got a major one here and on the end here and on the other part of end grain here, here and along the end grain here. So it's not going to be finished. So what I'm going to what I'm going to do is just tidy up the outside a little bit, um, spin them around, take out the inside, and then pack it in shavings, brown paper, and see what happens over uh, the next few months. Okay, so I have cleaned up the outside now. I'm very, very happy how the muddy put has taken in this big crack yesterday uh, that was there yesterday. That was really done a good job and that's going to turn out nicely if it still stays together. However, as I say, there are some major cracks appeared overnight and I'm going to be treating those. I'm going to spin it round first, turn out the inside to give it a chance of drying evenly. I mean, even as I've been turning here, cracks have appeared here. But it's such a lovely bit of wood, it's worth uh, persevering with, I think, but it's going to take a few months to get to a situation where I can finish it. So I'll spin it around, put it into the Easy Wood Large Dovetail Jaws, and turn out the inside, leave a wideish wall, and uh, hopefully I can then fill everything up and see how it goes over the ensuing months.
Okay, that's it rough turned. Now I'm going to just spend the time filling. What really pleases me actually is at the moment there are absolutely no cracks on the on this side at all. Nothing's come through. So if um, if I can manage to halt the cracking and I shall apply thin CA glue and then again when it's dry to finish turn I'll fill any cracks at the surface with milliput because I was very pleased with how the milliput worked on the other side. Well that's it all filled now. I'll just leave it for another half an hour or so, see if anything seeps in any more and then wrap it in shavings and brown paper and put it away for a couple of months. So unfortunately uh, my friend won't be able to give this on the birthday date but maybe a belated birthday present sometime in September time. If it all comes to plan. Very very pleased with how the milliput took there on that big crack that was there that's halted that crack but overnight as I say even with covering with cling film because I couldn't do the inside unfortunately until this morning a lot of cracks appeared on the end grain so I've just as I say treated those and we'll see how it goes and hopefully in a few months time we'll have the completion of this bowl well thanks very much for sticking with me I hope it's been a bit of a, a bit of interest to, especially to the newer turners uh, give you some idea of the sort of problems out as and when they occur as they have a habit of doing okay next week will be the three-piece goblet and thanks very much indeed for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you very soon. Cheers now.